This is, this is the missile tracking radar. is almost exactly like the target tracking radar. Um, it is its whole job is to eliminate and track the target or the missile. Oh. It points like a finger. It and whenever you uh, point it at a target, uh -huh. it has what's inside of what's called a monoplus duplexer. And the, it gave it the capability, if you put it in auto track mode, it would automatically track that target wherever it goes. It would continue to point at it. It also has inside it potentiometers for calculating its azimuth and its um, elevation. It has one in the, in the elephant ears that sends ele elevation information and one in the base that sends azimuth information. And that information is sent to the intercept computer and it's used in conjunction with the target tracking radar to calculate the intercept point. Because once you know the position of where the target is and you know the position of where the missile is, then all you have to do is some simple trigonometry with some offsets to come up with the intercept point. So this continually tracks the target, I mean the missile. We have another one that continually tracks the target. And those two are the, are the heart of the missile in getting the missile to the target to the intercept point. And, uh, so this was the X-band? This was X-band. X-band. MTR was X-band. And it was pulse uh, unit? It was a pulse, yeah, it was a pulse. total pulse unit, yes. And, so can all, you know, all the radars in after Nike were pulse, act, pulse radars. We had no Doppler radars, no continuous wave radars. And, okay, and this was actually mounted on this mountain? Yes, yeah, so it was mounted. Um, you can actually still see the foundation sitting right there, right on the edge of the cliff. It was mounted right there so that it was looking right down into the launcher area in order to be able to lock on all the missiles. It had to be a, it had to be a thousand meters away and it had to have light of sight to the missiles. Mm -hmm. So the transmitter is... If you look over here in the clamshell, if you open that up, the clamshell, the bottom of the clamshell had the transmitter power supply and the right in the middle of it was the, was the uh, magnetron, the tunable magnetron, and then on the other side is the reflector. Yeah, what you're looking at over here is the reflector and the reflector cover. Sure, and you can see it from inside. It's a double reflection. I see. Ah, the horn is missing.